you should rush towards Jannah and you should race towards Jannah. Allah says, rush to Jannah and He says, race to Jannah. Then He says, how big is Jannah? He says, Arduha as samawat wal ard. Its, sky, its size, its volume is the skies and the earth. Jannah is the size of the skies and the earth. In the next example, he says, Arduha ka ardis samai wal ard. Its size is something like the size of whatever lies above and the earth. In other words, the second one's actually bigger. The second Jannah that's being described is actually bigger. You see, Samawat and Sama, there's a difference. Samawat actually means seven skies. Sama doesn't mean one sky. Sama actually means whatever is above. Now, you think about this logically. When you say seven skies, you're talking about seven floors. When you say everything above, is that more? Yeah. Technically, Sama is more than Samawat. The word Sama is actually bigger than the word Samawat. And this is, unless you study Arabic linguistics, you wouldn't know. You would think Sama is singular and Samawat is plural, so the plural should be more than the singular. It's the other way around. Sama is actually more, Samawat is less. Unless you qualify Sama, if you just say Sama, then actually means everything above. Everything above. So what I'm trying to say is the second one, there's a race instead of rushing, so it's more intense. Then the sky itself is described as everything above, it's bigger. The first one Allah says, I, I have prepared this Jannah for people who have taqwa. Uiddat lil muttaqeen. The Jannah has been prepared for the people of taqwa. Is every Muslim someone who has taqwa? Or only some Muslims have taqwa? Unfortunately, the reality is not every Muslim is a muttaqi. Taqwa is something we should try to get, but not everybody has it. Right? Allah in the next ayah says this Jannah is not just for people who have taqwa. الْمُتَّقِينَ الَّذِينَ يُنْفِقُونَ فِي السَّرَّاءِ وَالضَّرَّاءِ These are the people who have taqwa who at the same time spend money when it's easy and when it's difficult. Is that a bigger group of people or a smaller group of people? It's a smaller group of people. And وَالْكَاظِمِينَ And by the way, these are also the people who swallow their anger. وَالْكَاظِمِينَ الْغَيْظِ they swallow their anger. So not only do they have taqwa, they also spend when it's easy, when it's hard, and they swallow their anger. Is that a larger group of people or even a smaller group of people now? It keeps getting smaller. وَلَعَافِينَ عَنِ النَّاسِ Not only do they swallow their anger, they also pardon people. They forgive people all the time. Whoa, is that a huge group of people or a very small group of people? The group of people described in the first set of ayat gets smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller. And the group of people in the next ayah, look at it. Allah says, أُعِدَّتْ لِلَّذِينَ آمَنُوا بِاللَّهِ وَرُسُولِهِ It has been prepared for those who believe in Allah and His messengers. Is that all of us? Do we believe, do we believe in Allah and His messengers? Yes. Yep. And as a matter of fact, when you say messengers, and you didn't say Rasul, Rasulihi is messenger, one. When you say Rasulihi, then you didn't just include the people right now. The believers from the time of Musa, the time of Isa, the time of Nuh, the time of any prophet. All of them are included, so long as you believed in Allah and any of His messengers at their time and even now. Is there doors to invitation open wider in the second ayah? It seems as though Allah is not just entering into Jannah, just the people of Taqwa. He's actually opening the door to anyone who believes in Allah and His messengers. Why don't you rush towards the Jannah, everybody? Everybody, and now you ask, you tell me, if there's an invitation into Jannah, but it's very exclusive, and there's another invitation into Jannah, it's open to everybody. Which one is a bigger favor from Allah? You tell me. The Jannah that is exclusive is a favor from Allah, or the open invitation is an extra favor from Allah? It's so open invitation. Open invitation is a huge favor from Allah because I started thinking the only people who will make it into Jannah are very exclusive people who can control their anger and forgive people and only spend and that's it, Jannah is for them. Me, I don't do that. I have anger problems and I got, you know, my taqwa goes up and down and, you know, I don't have, and I don't have a lot of money and when I do, I like to buy chocolate and... Like I'm not always spending for the sake of Allah, so am I, am I even making it to Jannah? In the first one, you might say there's a there's, it's tougher. 
And the second one, they're like, really? I can get to Jannah? Is Allah sure about this? Even me? And so what does he do? He tells me something so perfect. In the second one, when he opened the gates wide open, he said, ذَلِكَ فَضْلُ اللَّهِ That is Allah's favor. He didn't say that is Allah's favor in the first one. He said that is Allah's favor in the second one, in, in Hadid. Why? Because he opened the gates wider. And that's a favor from Allah. He didn't have to open it wider. He could have made Jannah exclusive. He could have repeated what he said in Ali Imran for the exclusive group. But he said, no, the exclusive have a Jannah, sure. But I want to give this huge Jannah. It's going to be lonely in there for you people. Let's let everybody give them all an invitation. That is a favor of Allah. He gives it to whoever He wants. SubhanAllah. What the, what the perfection of speech. I hope you guys enjoyed that video clip. My team and I have been working tirelessly to try to create as many resources for Muslims to give them first steps in understanding the Qur'an all the way to the point where they can have a deep, profound understanding of the Qur'an. We are students of the Qur'an ourselves and we want you to be students of the Qur'an alongside us. Join us for this journey on BayinaTV.com where thousands of hours of work have already been put in and don't be intimidated, it's step by step by step so you can make learning the Qur'an a part of your lifestyle. There's lots of stuff available on YouTube but it's all over the place. If you want an organized approach to studying the Qur'an beginning to end for yourself, your kids, your family and even among peers, that would be the way to go. Sign up for BayinaTV.com.